What's up, Android fans? Tech Man here from AndroidRoots.com. With me, have the Galaxy S3 T-Mobile, and this method will also work for the AT&T. So, Frosty Jelly Bean to support the AT&T and T-Mobile Galaxy S3s. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to install it. If you're wondering if you should install it or you shouldn't install it, maybe you're a little worried about what features it offers and all that, definitely look at that video right there for the RAM review so you can see all the features, the stability, if it's uh, the right custom RAM for you. So, check out that video if you're not, if you're not sure about it. But if you don't know how to install this RAM, this is the video for you. So I'm just gonna, go, I'm just gonna head down to my files and show you I actually do have it already downloaded. So I'm gonna go to my external because I, I downloaded it through my external SD card. So as you can see, I have Frosty Jelly Bean right there, 4.1.1 version 5. That is the latest version as of this video. So I'm already assuming that you have it downloaded onto your um, phone. You you have two options to actually do this. You can download your computer and then directly onto your phone, then to your phone, or you can download directly onto your phone. It doesn't matter. I always prefer just downloading directly on my phone. It's a lot easier. And do not unzip the zip file. Just keep it zipped up. Do not even mess with it. Just download it and leave it alone. Or you can run into uh, installation aborted problems. So also you must already have Clock Mod Recovery installed obviously and if you don't you can check the video right there on how to do it for Mac and for Windows for your Galaxy S3. So once you got it all set up we're going to enter Clock Mod Recovery mode. So power off your phone. Power it off. Okay. Once it's powered off wait until the blue LED light does turn off. Alright it is turned off. We're going to press the volume up. Home center button and power button all at the same time. So all three. And when you feel vibration, let go of the power. Vibration, let go of power. And just keep holding. And you'll be on the screen. Zoom in so you can actually under, uh, see what I am doing. Okay, so we're gonna go to wipe data slash factory reset. So this will delete all your apps, um, data, settings, contacts, all that, um, all that good stuff. So make sure you do back it up before this. So you can just select the reboot system now if you want to back it up. But so we're gonna select um, wipe data slash factory set and select yes. Okay, this is gonna be clearing everything as you can see in the bottom of the screen. It's gonna be doing it. Okay, that is done. Now we're gonna do wipe cache partition and select yes. Okay, that is working as you can see. Now we're gonna go to advanced and wipe down the cache. So, and select that once again, yes. That is complete, now we're gonna go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, the very first one as you can see. And we're gonna find that frosty jelly bean. Mine was actually on my external as you saw earlier, so I'm gonna go and choose external. So you can choose zip from external, yours might be in the internal, so um, just navigate to where you downloaded it or transferred it. So mine's Frosty Jelly Bean right there. Select it and select yes. Okay, now this is going to be installing the Frosty Jelly Bean on your Galaxy S3. And obviously I have links in the description below for AT&T and T-Mobile. So as you can see right there, you can see it's Frosty Jelly Bean version 5. It's coming up. So I'll be back when this is done installing. Okay, the installation is complete. So now we're going to go. Let me zoom in one more time. We're going to go back. And select the very first one, Reboot System Now. So now it's going to reboot your phone into the Frosty Jelly, jelly Bean. So you probably won't notice that you're going to get a custom boot animation, but you will still be booted into the Frosty Jelly Bean. And please do only do try this on the AT&T or T-Mobile one. You can obviously try it for the Canadian one as well because they're, they're basically the exact same phones. So as you can hear, you got the boot animation sound by Samsung. So I'll let this boot up. It will take about 5-10 to 10 minutes. So please be patient, but once it does boot up, do not touch your screen. And yes, I do know that the little setup screen comes up, you know, you can put your language, all your Gmail. Do not touch that screen, you have to wait and let it sit for 10 minutes or you're going to get forced closes. So do not touch your phone for 10 minutes, even if it does boot up. I'll be back. Okay, so I let my phone sit there for 10 minutes, I did not touch it at all. Now I'm going to be setting it up, and I'll be right back. So let your phone sit for at least 10 minutes so you don't run into problems. So I'll be right back after this. Okay, I finished setting it up. Now I'm going to settings and show you that I'm on Frosty Jelly Bean. <clears throat> and yes, this is a leak, so uh, it is not the official one, just to let you know. Don't get your hopes up. But it is very stable and it can be used as a daily driver. So you can see you got 4.1.1 and you got um, Frosty Jelly Bean right there. So you got Frosty Jelly Bean version 5. 
and when you uh, keep tapping on this and then you hold it down you got the little jelly beans that you can play with so that is how you install frosty jelly bean on your galaxy s3 18t or t-mobile do not try it on any other one and you you can also try on the canadian one uh, canadian one as well thanks for watching guys please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't give me a big old thumbs up as well thanks for watching guys and if you need help on this or anything else you can contact me through twitter facebook google plus and email me all links will be in the description below i'll see you next video guys enjoy your frosty jelly bean really highly recommend it very stable and pretty much stock so if you're transitioning from a beginner to a custom rom type of person this is a great transition rom yeah